It has been two months since you started dating Cody. In that time, you and he have been on all sorts of dates. You've been to the movie theaters, out to dinner, and on plenty of walks, which was your favorite activity. Tonight, you and he were trying something different. There's a knock at your door, and you rush down the stairs to greet Cody, standing at your porch with his paws in his pocket, smiling at you. You smile back and hug him, as was tradition. He wore a red polo shirt and jeans, his fur was slick and slightly shiny, and his hair was combed back, with some slight imperfections due to his habit of raking his paw through it. The air outside was still and cool, the perfect kind of cool, where sweatpants and a hoodie, as you were wearing, would keep you cozy and at a perfect temperature. It hadn't rained in about a week, so the air wasn't humid, but also not dry. The sun had set an hour ago, and the main source of illumination were streetlights and the few remaining shops open. Normally, you and Cody would walk to your destinations, holding paws and talking about your day and plans for the following day. That was only when the destination was inside the city. Since this adventure was outside the city, it required the use of Cody's car. He opened the door for you and you stepped in, tipping your non-existent hat to him. He climbed in after you and started the car. You have lived in the city your entire life, which has its benefits for sure, but it also had its downsides. One being the lack of stars visible in the sky, so prompted Cody's plan to take you out of the urban environment you grew up in to the rural environment he grew up in. Only a mile from the city, you could already tell a difference in the sky. The brightest stars were now visible, and the dull light polluted glow of the night now shifted to a dark blue and eventually to black. Cody's headlights kept the road in front of you illuminated, and there was not a street light in sight. With no other cars on the road, Cody drove a little faster. In early summer, all of the wheat fields were empty, waiting for farmers to start the growing season in early fall. This was the case at Cody's farm. You could see acres of empty field waiting. As his parents got closer to retirement, Cody told you, they sold off some of the land furthest away from their farmhouse. They now only own three small fields, much more manageable with the dated farm equipment his parents used. As Cody's car pulled up to the farmhouse, you could feel a sense of calm wash over you. There wasn't the same rush of people trying to get to their destinations on time as in the city. Here, it almost felt like time was allowed to go the speed it wanted to. Cody hopped out of the car and jogged over to your side to open the door for you, offering his paw to help you out. You stand and look around the property. The farmhouse was a cozy, two-story building with a large wraparound porch. You could see a swing hanging from the patio ceiling, probably from when Cody was little, and the front yard was dotted with wildflowers. The scent of freshly mown grass and the distant smell of pine trees filled your lungs. It was a different world compared to the concrete and steel of the city. Cody opened the trunk of his car and pulled out a pile of outdoor blankets and handed one to you. You shut the trunk behind him and followed him to the middle of one of the empty wheat fields. You both laid the blankets down side by side, and finally, you eyed your chance to lay back and look at the night sky. Breathtaking wasn't enough to describe it. You were astounded. You could see every star in the sky. You never knew what was up there, and now that you could see it, it was almost hard to believe. The stars literally twinkled before you, 
and if you looked closely enough, you could tell they were all different colors. Some were white and bright, some were orange and dim, some were big and some were small. Some almost seemed to form a pattern with the stars around it, while some stood alone. Cody laid down next to you and felt around for your paw, which he took and held gently. He squeezed it every once in a while, while you and he laid in silence. You started to feel tired, though it wasn't really that late. Cody seemed to be as well. He yawned and turned his head to look at you. You scanned the sky one last time, trying to create a mental image of the night sky in your mind, before scooting your body close to Cody's and resting your head on his chest. Cody brought one arm behind his head to use as a pillow, while the other he wrapped around your body loosely. It was easy to close your eyes now, and even easier to fall asleep. There was no light from the city leaking through your windows, no sound of cars and people on the street, just the sound of Cody's breathing and the sound of insects and night birds. On the many dates you and Cody have been on, he has given you a lot. He's given you a friend, a partner, and someone you can talk to and share your life with. Though never in a million years would you have guessed he could give you the night sky.